Hey guys, how's it going? So I was gonna make a quick little tutorial for a friend, but I figure why not just make one for everybody? Um, today I'm gonna show you how to reboot into stock recovery mode with the HTC One M8. So first off, what we need to do is make sure that your settings are not on fast boot. And I'll show you where that is. If you come down to your power, and then all the way to the bottom here, it says fast boot, which basically allows it to start up and shut down very quickly. Make sure that checkbox, like you see there, is not checked. You wanna make sure that's not checked. Um, so get out of there once it's not checked. You also wanna make sure that your phone has at least 35%, but actually I recommend no less than 50%. So you know if you're not sure what your battery has or you're in some kind of emergency situation where you don't know you know, you can't get to your normal screen to see your uh, battery life, plug it in for a good hour just to make sure that it has a good battery life because you don't want your phone dying in the middle of a reboot um, or reset. So from this screen, pretty much what you wanna do is turn it off. So you wanna turn it completely off not to restart uh, it. So make sure it's, remember that fast boot's off and then just power off. And if you've had the fast boot on, you're probably pretty comfortable with how quick it shuts down, and you'll see this one shuts down a lot slower. Um, fast boot um, saves things, pretty much makes like a snapshot of your screen, and then brings it right back on when you turn your power uh, phone back on. So, anyways, once the phone is completely off, um, as you can see, nothing's responding. You want to hold down the uh, volume down, and at the same time, hold down the power button. This is going to get you into your um, fast boot or H boot setup actually. So this is your bootloader screen. So once you're in here, you wanna to go to the next um, option down which says recovery. Before I get there, let me show you. Sometimes people get into this screen, which is fast boot. If you see here, fast boot is um, highlighted and there are different options. So you got RAM um, dump, which I believe is something for developer stuff. Um, don't know exactly what that is. Um, reboot, which literally just reboots the device. Reboot fast boot, which reboots the fast boot system here, or just shut it back down. So if you're in this screen, H boot is already highlighted. Just go ahead and tap power again, and it brings you back to fast boot. It'll do its little systems check and then bring it there. So what you want to do is go one down to recovery. Now I know this factory reset here, but sometimes that doesn't work for people, um, and so this I'm showing you an alternate way of doing it. So once you have recovery highlighted, you hit the power button and it's gonna reboot your phone into stock recovery. Now, if you haven't done any rooting, you haven't done any bootloader unlocking or anything like that, you should see the next screen that's coming up here. Um, sometimes this does take a, while, take a while to show, but this is what you're looking for. Um, this is basically the um, kind of like the, the last resort showing you, hey, you're in a place you probably shouldn't be if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and so pretty much nothing will respond. It's, you might, may think that you just broke your phone. Um, holding power down for a while will put it into its normal um, hard reset mode, things like that, which is not going to reset. Um, in fact, you reset your device, it's going to just reboot it. Um, but once you're in this one, um, that's a good sign. That's showing that the phone is responding and you're able to get to the next screen, hopefully. Um, like I said, this can take a little while. For me, this one, it seems to pop up fairly quickly. Um, I've done it on another phone before and it took like a minute and a half before I was able to see this screen. It was just black, so give it some time. If it's anything more than a couple minutes, two, three minutes, you might want to try to hold down the power button and try to see if you can reboot it again um, and get it back to the screen. So once you're on this screen, what you want to do is hold the power uh, volume up, not down. You want to hold volume up and at the same time tap the power button. Now you're in actual um, stock Android, or actually I believe this is HTC's version, but this is the, the Android system recovery. Um, so this is where you get a little bit more capabilities. This is like, honestly, this is for HTC's um, uh, customer service and, and things like that, or for people that are that know what they're doing and they really wanna get into this, but this is kind of like a last um, effort to try to factory reset your device. Um, so if you're here and you don't wanna reset your device, I don't recommend messing with anything. Um, the top one is already highlighted where it says to uh, reboot system. Just do that, go back and just leave it alone. Um, but if you're in a situation where you wanna do a factory reset and the other one is not working, then you scroll down. Looks like it is the second to last right there. It says wipe data and factory reset. Now I'm not gonna do this because two reasons. One, I'm on 
only about 14% left in my battery, but two, I don't want to reset my device. So I'm just using this as demonstration purposes. So once you're on that second to last highlighted where it says to wipe data, factory reset, then you want to tap your power and it may or may not bring you to another screen where it gives you a bunch of options that says like no or cancel. Um, and then one um, says to continue on and basically they do that so you don't accidentally just reboot it or reset it without wanting to. So if it gives you another screen with options, just highlight the one that says to factory reset and then hit power again and it should go through its options. So that's how you get to that screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and reboot my system because I don't wanna do any resets and let it do its thing. Um, so that's how you get to the uh, recovery, the stock recovery on the HTC One M8. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you out. And until next time, thanks for watching.